In just a couple of days, it will mark the annual Liberation Day of the island. Each year, families celebrate and honor Guam's liberation from the Japanese military during World War II. The island's congressional members, administration members, and members of the military and veterans held an early celebration of Liberation Day in our nation's capital. Guam News Now, Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. Roughly two weeks before July 21st, Guam's delegate Jim Moylan hosted a Liberation Day celebration at the World War II Memorial along the National Mall. The ceremony showcased dancing, singing, music, and speeches, all honoring this significant day for the island. 80 years ago, here at the World War II Monument, laying the reef here is a great honor. We're remembering those that had struggled and survived and and those especially that those were who we lost. Hard to believe uh, that such a terrible thing could happen, but really gives us a lot of inspiration to, you know, compare what we're going through now compared to what uh, they went, you know, really we're in such a better place. On December 8th, 1941, Japanese forces invaded the island, which was around the same time Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Congressman Moylan even shared his mother's own personal recollection of that day. It was December 8th. Uh, it was a special day on Guam. Folks were coming out of church. My mom was there with her grandfather. At that time, we were celebrating the Santa Maria Carmelin, a patron saint of Guam. It's a holy day of obligation. It's supposed to be full of joy and laughter and events. However, that's the day the Imperial Army or Imperial Japan Army came and bombs were flying. You know, and people were running and screaming and yelling. The island was occupied for nearly three years until July 21st, 1944, when American forces took it back, liberating the people. That day is honored and celebrated across Guam. For me, you know, as a descendant of wartime survivors, um, really means a lot to recognize the tremendous sacrifice that uh, my dad and my grandparents uh, and my relatives uh, made during the war. I think it's very important that the leadership of Guam be present uh, for this ceremony. It allows us to continue to tell the story here in our nation's capital, but really give the dignified recognition that liberation should deserve. Uh, since Guam is the only American soil that was occupied during that war, during any war, um, reminding everybody uh, about the role that that played in, uh, and especially for the defense of everybody else. Moylan says we've come a long way since Liberation Day and now work with Japan as an ally. He says Liberation Day is a reminder that Guamanians truly understand the fight for freedom. And now we're united. Uh, we're working uh, together, especially in the Indo-PACOM area. 80 years ago when, when things were really bad, now we know that the struggle for freedom is real. In Washington, D.C., Rachel Knapp, Guam News Now.